Now let us show you how you can create an EC2 profile and you will assign a role for an EC2. So let us create a demo EC2 and this EC2 I will use it mainly to access an SC3 bucket to list the bucket, to list the object inside the bucket and also to copy a demo file to that SC3 bucket. I will keep everything to the settings to the default. I will add a tag. I will call this demo of EC2 to SC3 and then I will configure a security group I need only to enable uh, the SSH port because I, I will access this EC2 from my computer now the EC2 is ready so let us go now and create a bucket let us go to SC3 and we will create another demo bucket just to show you guys how the EC2 could have read and write access to an SC3 bucket let's create a demo bucket again this is, will be a demo and to give it a unique name in this region so I'm going to call this cat photos for example to EC2 and I will put the date of today and happy new year to you all I will keep the ACL to be enabled for the bucket owner and I will enable versioning as well because I'm going to use and show you in the future video how versioning could be used to protect accidental damage now we have the bucket created so let us go back now to our ac2 and we will download the pim file and that pim file we will use it mainly to access the ac2 via ssh and from the ac2 i want to copy a file to the sc3 let me download the pim file if you are using a root account to do this demo just to create a new pim file for your ac2 and download it and give it a permission chmod 400 or use potty the link for my potty video uh, for the windows user is going to be up in the card section of this video now let us go to the ec2 and get the public ip address again for potty user it's the same you will use the same ip address in potty click on yes now we have access to the ec2 what we want to do now is to check that we have access to the bucket uh, let's create file before touch demo.txt this is will create a file and i will open the file in nano and this is like a file a demo file i will put some some text in it let us write this is a file to show the ec2 to sc3 and we will save now let us do now an aws sc3 copy cp demo.txt to sc3 and we will specify the bucket name you could go back to sc3 and copy the bucket name at this stage if you don't have it so let me open sc3 in a new tab and this is my demo bucket i will copy the name and be careful here guys it's the name of the bucket not the arn and you can see there is a permission error we don't have the correct permission to be able to write to this bucket even if we do aws sc3 ls this means we don't even have a permission to sc3 as a service not only that bucket in specific so let us go now to im in im there is a role created it's called my sc3 role creation of the role is above the, the level of the cloud practitioner so we will show you this later on in the solution architect you can see here we are giving an ec2 in instance a full permission over an sc3 from the json all we need to do now is to go to the ec2 and from the ec2 we will basically modify the im role and we will assign the my sc3 role to it it's the last one there in the menu and click on save now let us try to copy the demo file again to sc3 and you will be able to see that this file is obviously copied successfully it has been uploaded to sc3 you can go back to sc3 and check so the file is there and we can view it as well in the console let us upload now a cat photo from my computer and the point here i just want to make sure not only i can write to this sc3 i could also list any new object remember sc3 give you give you hard consistency for a new object and read after write consistency for updated object later on in the solution architect if you are following this channel we're going to describe all of these in details i'm going to provide you with more details about